नमस्कार आई एम देवी दत्त वेलकम टू आनंद योगा कपल योगा कपल योगा और पार्टनर्स योगा इज अ वंडरफुल वे टू रिकनेक्ट विद ईच अदर इट आल्सो हेल्प्स यू टू हैव क्लोजनेस इन द रिलेशनशिप यू विल फाइंड टू डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ वीडियोस इन दिस सेट इन सम वीडियोस यू बोथ विल बी परफॉर्मिंग वन आसन टुगेदर और इन सम वीडियोस वन पार्टनर इज परफॉर्मिंग इन आसन एंड द अदर पार्टनर इज सपोर्टिंग Just try these out and feel the difference in your body as well as your relationships. Paschimottanasan. In this variation of Paschimottanasan, one partner is doing the asan and the other partner is just supporting. So, she is going in Paschimottanasan with the legs in front, palms on your thighs, sliding them you go as far as you can. So this is what she achieves in Paschimottanasan. Now let her keep the legs straight slowly from your from the lower back I start moving the pressure upwards and slowly I'm pushing her down Be very careful you should know how much to push how much weight should I put and let her enjoy the stretch Then allow her to take a deep breath in and as she exhales you can slightly push a little more With the exhalation your body easily bends forward. And then very slowly relax, let her come back. Let her enjoy the effect on the calf, hamstring, back. And then you ask her to do it for you. Dronasan. In this asan both the partners are doing the asan so you sit in front of each other legs in front such that the toes are touching the heels are slightly with the distance okay you catch each other's hand now first touch the feet of one leg and take it up now slightly put the weight behind and take the other leg up now from here you slowly start straightening the legs up catch hold firm and then raise the back up just enjoy the stretch for the calf pressure on the abdomen enjoy it and then when you feel slowly bend one leg drop it down other leg drop it down and relax such type of asanas help you to improve the trust on each other because you are catching and dependent on the other partner upavishta konasan in this one partner does the asan and other partner supports the asan to make it better and more flexible so here i am doing the asan and she is supporting me So I take the legs in front and go in upavishta konasan. This is what I can achieve normally. Okay. Now she supports my legs either at the ankle or inside. But to be more, she can again takes the buttocks closer towards me and again slightly stretch it. So this is what I can achieve. Now when I ask her to stop, she stops stretching and take takes the grip of my hands so that my back remains erect and then if i need slowly starts pulling me and then you can also catch the shoulders and press it down and just enjoy the stretch and then when i want to come out i can just slowly come back the legs supports me to maintain the angle and once i have done i can make her do the same asan padda konasan here one partner does the asan the other partner supports the partner So one partner is going in Padakonasan feet closer knees apart 
So this is what she can achieve normally in Baddha Konasana. So now you catch the hand, you rest the feet in such a way that it's on the shin bone and closer to the ankle. And slowly start pushing the heels in. So this is what she achieves now because of the support. If you want, you release the hand, let her catch the leg and press this down. The other variation, you slowly just slightly pull her so that she experiences a good stretch for the back. Now be sensitive how much you want to pull. You did not take her directly towards the ground. With practice, you can definitely do that. And then when you feel that she wants to really get released, allow her to go back. Relax the hands, relax the pressure on the legs and let her relax and then you can do it. Bhujangasana, a wonderful stretch for your back and for your shoulders. It's a variation in Bhujangasana wherein one partner lies down on the abdomen Legs closer, chin on the ground. The other partner sits up on the legs, on the calves, either putting the weight on the calves or not putting depending on what you like. Then slowly go up and raise the chest up. And then give the hands to the partner. The other partner starts pulling you and you enjoy the wonderful stretch. You can tell the partner where you want to stop. Close the eyes and just enjoy the stretch for the shoulders, for the back, the pressure on the abdomen. Take the head up and just enjoy. And when you feel like coming up, tell your partner. She will slowly release, drop the head and just enjoy this effect on the back on the abdomen and the chest. Pawan Muktasana A wonderful asana for your abdominal organs. To do it with your partner, one partner lies down. Bends the leg and brings it closer to the abdomen. The other partner catches the leg and slowly starts pushing it. The partner who is lying down can just enjoy the pressure on the abdomen. It's more than what you do can do it alone. Keep the breathing normal. And then when you feel like coming out, you can tell your partner to release or if the partner senses that he has to release, you can just release and feel the effect of the abdomen on the abdomen. And then you can come out. Adhamuk In this one, she is going into Adhamukh Shwanasan and I will be helping her to improve the stretch with the help of a belt. So to go in Adhamukh Shwanasan, you come to cat position. Some distance in your feet, in your knees, toes inside. Now just raise the knees up, straighten the legs. And go in Adhamukh Shwanasan. Take the feet slightly closer. Now this is what she is achieving. Now I'll be catching her legs from inside, keeping the belt on the thighs, towards the upper body more. And then I'll be slowly pulling her. When I start pulling her, think there is an increase in stretch for the legs. The upper body is relaxed, the weight on the shoulders are relaxed. So she can maintain it for longer time. I'm just putting my weight behind. 
And when I feel that she wants to relax, release, I slowly release the stretch and allow her to drop the legs down and come out of the asana. Omkar chanting. When you're doing a couple yoga session or a partner's yoga session, you can do Omkar chanting either sitting like this, or I would prefer you doing it with the back touching each other. So you sit with the partner in such a way that your backs are touching each other. Sit erect, close your eyes, have the Dhyana Mudra. You're sitting in normal cross-legged position or Ardha Padmasana or Padmasana, whatever you feel comfortable. Just for some movement, be aware of your partner's back. Before starting the session, from the bottom of your heart, just thank your partner for being there in the session. He or she will be helping you for doing these asanas. Thank her or him. And then we start with three Omkar, the sound of A, U, and M. So for the first, take a deep breath in. Uh. Again, inhale. Uh, One more time, inhale. Uh, Just be aware of the vibrations that you and your partner has created. This will immediately calm down your mind, prepare your body and mind for the session. Then you rub the palms. Keep them on your eyes. And dropping the hands down, slowly open your eyes.